application of chat GPT to fluid mechanics. Can artificial intelligence replace professors? Many people are concerned that AI may replace their jobs. This concern is legitimate for many jobs. But what about faculty jobs? AI will likely never replace faculty research. That requires innovation and curiosity, which machines don't have. But what about teaching? Can AI replace faculty teaching? Let's join Professor Skeptic and his students on a Zoom call. Who has a question? Uh, not really a question, sir, but I would like to show you something. Uh, make it quick. I used AI to make a deep fake video of you, and I would like to show it, sir. That sounds awesome, dude. Show it. Yes, I would like to see it, too. Yeah, okay. I decided to cancel the final exam. Everybody gets an A. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> that really looks legit, dude. It's not legit. I would never do anything like that. You can tell it's fake. Sir, do you think AI will ever replace professors? I just happened to be working on a talk about that. I'll share my screen. Yeah, here's an example. Explain conservation of mass in fluid mechanics at the college level in one paragraph. This was ChatGPT's reply. I'll show it bigger on the next screen. Here are some problems I found. The continuity equation is indeed an expression of conservation of mass, but it applies to a differential equation, not a closed fluid system. This equation they show is not the continuity equation. It represents conservation of mass in a duct. Here they call V the velocity. It's really the time average speed across the duct. And this equation does not apply at a point. This equation is valid for compressible flow, but ChatGPT seems to think it's limited to incompressible flow. And this statement it gives here is true only for incompressible flow. Density can also change. Then it talks about mass flow balance between inlet and outlet, but this equation holds between any two cross-sectional areas of the duct. At least I'm happy to see that ChatGPT uses the Oxford comma, which everyone should use. So the short answer is no. AI can't replace professors. Uh, thank you, sir. I have to go. Looks like we're stuck with Professor Skeptic till we graduate. Bummer, dudes. Yes, but Merry Christmas anyway. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. In summary, ChatGPT's reply to a simple fluid mechanics question appears fine at first glance. On closer examination, however, we find some inconsistent and incorrect answers. I must conclude that at this point in time, AI is not reliable for teaching fluid mechanics. I'm sure it will improve with time, but it will take many years before AI can replace professors. I should be long retired by then. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.